we, yeah, are we sharing or not? Can you share if you would like to? Can you share some or all or parts or? So my personal vision, um, my big vision is that I am running a successful blog with over 10 million followers. Yeah. That's my biggest, like, you know. Um, and then I will impact like 30 million lives in some possible way. Yes. Somehow. Awesome. So, that's pretty huge, but so doable. Totally. And are you doing mindset with your own dad at the moment? Yeah, like it. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, I, I, a lot of my mindset work has been around money mm -hmm. and shifting that scarcity. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Cool. Definitely. So yeah, I would be writing that into reality like daily. Oh. I'm so grateful I have 10 million followers. This is what it feels yeah. like. This is what it means. This is the ups and the downs. Blah, blah, blah. When um, I listened to actually the call with you and Kat, mm -hmm. literally means saying I sat there and that's what we did. Yeah. Um, but one of the biggest things that come to me is like the collaboration in terms of other moms. And my vision has just come so clear and how we're going to run the house. Yes. Yeah. The secrets of the many moms. Cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I was thinking Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. Totally. But I think one of the things I've started just even in a short time today yeah. is how, okay, I'm going to build this amazing following all of that but like what value am I really going to add and right. how are we going to monetize it okay. you know? and um, I think showing people how to raise the results by raising the vibration and move your life through like between us you know <coughs> basically showing mums and dads and helping them teach their children the four school the simple strategies around mindset by actually learning and doing it themselves mm -hmm. so I think that'll be like even just raise your vibration, raise your results. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, that's like that's cool. a course, like that's a that's something. Yeah. Yeah. That's so you highlighted that highlighted too. Yeah, no, well that's what my book was gonna be called that's class. Right, yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's so good. I think that'll always be in my yeah. In my little catch notes. Totally, it's it's really nice. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Awesome. Happy from this good. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. One of my things was um it's like Every time I think about money, and I like, oh, yeah, multi-millionaire, yeah, whatever, it doesn't excite me at all. Right. So I'm, I'm already like a millionaire. Yeah. Um, and so anything in that bracket, I was like trying to find something that like, it's like nothing is very exciting. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's mm -hmm. because I need to be a billionaire. And right. it used to uh, it used to mess me up because I had like this thing around money that too much was great, my parents right. like, yeah. valuable, that thing. Mm -hmm. um, but then like just realigning that with the, the value and the um, contribution that I can have by yes. creating that kind of wealth. And so that's yes. like, yeah, that's where I need my That's super cool. To be, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's probably going to, yeah, step you into a whole realm of doing a whole lot of work to realign mm -hmm. for that because you obviously haven't been aligning for that. And that's probably yeah. half the reason you're feeling a bit excited about half your shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's totally. like there, there was yeah. no big vision because it was like, it was too small. Yeah. dream life, traveling the world, but creating seven figure income from our laptops, but yes. also having a home base for our family. It's really all about choice. It's totally about choice to go, right, let's go here for six months. Mm -hmm. Let's yep. go here and let's, you know, we can still impact the world from anywhere. So it's right. all about family and time and giving back to our family and just really dreaming outside of what's considered normal. Yes. Yeah. Create your new version. Yeah. That's awesome. I guess my branding is just all around. I actually have <coughs> my brand is unique and needed by thousands, but I've actually crossed it out and put millions. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I need to think bigger, like thousands. Like, yeah. That's, that's nothing in the grand scheme of things. Um, just to improve the quality of lives for other people. And awesome. You know, having an elite team of people who are not only helping me grow, but 
that aren't the best at what they do. So they mm -hmm. can help me and my brand, and my brand can continue to grow. So my brand is limitless. Um, and just about, I guess, my brand evolving as I evolve. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. The tribe thing probably was a little bit harder. Uh -huh. um, so I'm thinking like, I have a global tribe yeah. and not just, well people from all walks of life, right. including like celebrities. Yes. Um, like, like I said, I'm a, well, like I said before, my tribe is limitless. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel comfortable and at ease with my tribe mm -hmm. and I grow my tribe with ease. That's awesome. Yeah, I love the globalness of it too, and calling it in like Jess's first premium client was in Canada, you know, so <laughs> and he came through like one of the um, Instagram strategies, I'm going to show you guys, who then joined the tribe, who then jumped on a free um, like challenge or offer she was doing, and then premium clients, so that's the thing, if, if you don't have the vision, if you don't set the intention, if you don't start aligning for that broader vision, for the billions of dollars, for the global tribe, you know, whatever it is, it's like you're shutting it off a little bit, like you're not open to receiving it in. So, yeah, yeah that's super cool. Nice. Sim. Um, yeah, so I put down that uh, I'm living location free. That's probably one of my biggest drivers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I want to be. And yep. I'm, tr I'm putting it in place. I want it to be done. I, I base everything it will on be terms. Done. It will be done. I base everything on terms on term one. So I want it done by the end of term it two. It will be done. Yeah, it will be done. <laughs> it will be done by the end of term two. And it's awesome. It's, yeah, and it's, it's done. done. It's done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> um, if you want it to be done, it won't be done. But if it's done, no, it can't it be, be done. Not done. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I've been saying it to my partner for ages. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm making over a million dollars a year. Yes. So that's something I said before. Um, working from my laptop. Um, challenging my tribe to take action on their goals and dreams and making it happen now. Yes. Um, uh, using my so the location free lifestyle will travel all around Australia and around the world. Yep. Um, uh, constantly growing my brand, impacting thousands of lives daily by delivering my message in its purest and clearest form. Um, investing in property from my brand to create mm. another flowing passive income. Yep. Um, and then for my brand, I put um, changing and challenging the lives of thousands of people by delivering my message mm -hmm. that your life and happiness are all um, in your choices. So um, some of the things that I wrote down was uh, live the life you love to love the life you live. Um, yeah. Take uh, what was it? Take ch chances, make choices, change lives. Um, and I've got only you can make the choice to take a chance to change your life. Those are nice. Things. Awesome. Yeah. So I kind of like deep dog points through it. Um, yeah. Care would be like manifesting happiness, so creating, mm -hmm. creating your own life, creating your own life of happiness. Um, making sure to create a tribe that, you know, you love what you do and you live the life that you deserve. That's probably one of the biggest things with the brand. Like always making a choice to go to where it is that you want to be. Um, Showing that you can travel and teach about happiness and find a sense of belonging no matter who you are and mm -hmm. where you are from. Mm -hmm. And then for the tribe, I put my community will be a supportive and uplifting and vibrant community committed to bringing their goals and dreams into actuality, putting themselves and their happiness first and passing the happiness and love on to both the tribe and their own community and family. Being raw and real and not letting anyone stand in their way of achieving greatness. I'll impact thousands. Although I've heard you saying millions, I think I might change that next time <laughs> too. Up level, up level. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of lives on a week, uh, on a weekly basis, ranging mm -hmm. from adults to children. Uh, my tribe will begin by having an idea on where they see themselves, and I'll put in measures to create them and put them in the space and the mindset of actually bringing that into actuality. Totally. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I didn't talk too much on the tribe vision, but the vision that I have for like the tribe is that we create a safe space for people to <coughs> come and get educated, encouraged and empowered um, to be the best and all solutions ever. And just learning basic strategies on how to truly give themselves full permission to shine. Mm. I think that's something I really want to do. And also our tribe celebrates success. 
Yeah, yeah. We there's none of this poor body syndrome and bullshit. Um, and we teach them how to do shit though. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. So now that we've got those visions in place, obviously that's going to keep growing and expanding and changing and becoming more and more and more. <laughs> so we will now move on to try building, which is very exciting. So we're going to have Mr. Lee Bundy. Do you want to grab a chair? Do you want to grab a No. I can't sit in my lap. <laughs> so. within your tribes when you have like people paying for different tribes and everything. So we're going to run through all of that. Um, what I'd love to do first is to quickly go around and I want you guys just to summarize the one thing that the world needs to hear right now is, and I want you to share your message with Lee so he can get a feel for where you guys are at. So obviously, be, no, be nice to them. They're on day one, they're not on day three. <laughs> yeah, well, cool. it's, their, it's their message. The one thing that they were born to show the world. Or this song. Who's going to go first in the song? Now, one thing I need the world to know <laughs> is that. Only one. Yeah, just the one. Oh, God, it's the um, Is that you absolutely have the power to raise your results by raising your vibration because the Viking is the power. Awesome. Okay. Um, okay, so the one thing I need the world to know right now is to stop waiting for tomorrow to start. Yep. Um, just take a leap of faith and watch your dream life unfold. That's it. Just do it. I need to get a little bit clearer on that. But mm -hmm. It will come. It's perfect. Yeah. Where you guys are right now is perfect. You're actually like further ahead than a lot of the guys at this stage, true? Can I give feedback or wait till you No, you can yeah. like... <laughs> <Just> wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, my was the one thing I need the world to know right now is that the change starts when you choose. You are the product of your own happiness. That's cool. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's it. I feel like not clear on my message now. <laughs> awesome, we're confused. Uh, right through. <laughs> um, I think my message is like just jump off the cliff because luck comes with action. Nice. That's it. Well, that just felt really cool. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Very cool. I love them all. So now I can give feedback. So really, obviously, uh, uh, you want to connect with your feelings with your messages, not what you're, you don't think it, feel it. Like how does that make you feel with your messages? Obviously, you can see the different reactions. So how do they make you feel? Anything you want to 
Yeah. In terms of how I, when I said it. When, when you say it, like, do you get goosebumps yeah. like you're about to say a, you know, a speech to the, to the world? I, I won't lie, like I've only just got clear on that. Like I've always known my book was going to be yeah. called Rise from the Street of Vibration Facial yeah. Results. But in that moment, like saying it, it's just like the more I say it, it's like it just, yeah, I get really excited. I feel yeah. excited. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah, cool. So it's about, you know, find something, not because it sounds cool, someone told you to find something that you, know, you can yeah. really connect with from, from your heart. That's only going to be, that's only thing that's going to be left with you, you know, obviously you can't know what we were about, but at the end of the day, that's what, that's how you're going to move out with, with yeah. your feelings. Yeah. Cool, so for these guys starting out, what's your advice to them? Like, which is cool, and then people that are like completely starting from scratch. So okay. for the people starting out who are like, okay, like so once I get Claire on my tribe, and we, we're gonna buy, we're gonna get Claire on my tribe, <coughs> and I'm gonna Claire on exactly who these people are, who you wanna work with, like we're coming to all that. But once they're clear on that, like how do they start calling these people in? Like how does that work? Firstly again, you need to be excited. Like, you know, humans want to be led, and they want to be excited by a vision, or if they see another human that, that, that's excited. Um, the social media is, is massive. Uh, obviously, Regan's going to teach you the strategies of how to get your message across through, um, through videos and strategize messages. Um, but I didn't know any of this. I, I knew where I wanted to go to empower, empower men, and I just got my message out. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't clear, but the key is just get out. Like, you know how we prepare to prepare, and it needs to be nice, and a video we do 10 takes, is my makeup good, or just be raw, because at the end of the day, behind closed doors, we're real people. You know, men and women, it doesn't really matter. Obviously, it's different the way I teach with men, but just get your message out. And the more you believe it and the stronger you get at, you know, um, manifesting or getting across to people, but it's just about getting it out because you have to think about it as well. There's a number of, not everyone's on Facebook as when we think we are, you know, we don't have the freedom. So you have to also be strategized about um, the times that you'll obviously read that you guys know of getting your message out. Um, I. I was I was strong and obviously now I'm just there's like no rattling me about where I'm going and how I want to lead people and there, there's a fine line when people comment and and obviously they send you a message or they like there's a reason why they're there you know there's no point people liking your stuff and then you're just leaving them you're doing them a just a disjustice and they might think that you might be you know they, everyone wants to grow Facebook and you know liking your stuff so someone's showing you the interest. You know, you have to come from a way you can lead them and just say, look, I'm coming, I'm a, you know, just showing you your blind spots. Obviously, the more you get, um, what's the word? The more you get, I don't know, functional, way, confident, yeah. Um, you know, the more, you, you want to be pushy in a way, but uh, in a way that you want to lead people. You're not pushy to, you can, you know, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses, but you need to say, hey, you know, there's no point in liking my stuff, but then there's no ongoing, you know, ongoing with it. Obviously, you want to, you know, faking it, really. You know, people are going to, you're going to get inboxes, you're going to get people liking it, and they're, they're basically reaching out saying, please help me. But then they're saying, don't, I've got no money, I've got no time, and that's just massive self-sabotage that you have to break through. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you get to the point, yes, some people go, geez, you're forceful, and geez, you know, but, and it's not really forceful, it's like, you hear the show people a better way. There's things that Regan have said to me when she's been advanced to me, I'm like, what are you talking about? That's just my limited, limited awareness. But, you know, you can go in, you can be uh, assertive, probably a better word, and the more you just show people that you're 100% not going to uh, f you know, flinch from your message and your, um, you know, I call it the success train, the more people want to jump on board. Mm -hmm. um, so how important is it in terms of having clarity around who you want in your tribe? Because yeah. your tribe has been pretty interesting because it's shifted from maybe not so much your ideal tribe and now it's like yeah, pretty yeah. bang smack <laughs> on your ideal tribe. But that's, yeah. I mean, that's taken a few years to kind of get that right and break through some of that stuff. So mindset wise, like yeah. how can you shortcut that for those guys? There's probably five ways I can answer that. The more you, the yeah. more you believe in yourself, the more your, your vibration or just confidence, mm -hmm. the, you know, your, your vibe attracts your tribe. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming in from a place of scarcity, giving people discounts and just sort of you know, uh, you know, the guys know if you're working with them. Give me a hundred percent. Again, you always want to lead and keep your people excited that there's a bigger picture, which there is. You know, you need to keep them because, you know, the humans are caves 
It's um, you know the hunting and gathering. It's you, you need to belong to something, and, and you need to make sure people are protected. Mm -hmm. You know, even though, uh, you asked the boys, I was sort of following my brain today. It's just like I want to keep this environment protected, and it needs a, it needs a, like a like a watch. Yeah, all the gears need to be turning mm -hmm. um, because the outside world it's a nasty place. When you have your tribe in the environment, that's a place where you don't have any of that bullshit, and you, you need to make sure that no one comes in and then massive visions, which you've just made like ten times bigger, right? That's not normal. Uh, and you've got to understand that so many people don't even have a vision and they're looking to follow someone mm. with a vision to give themselves permission to have their own vision like mm. right like there are so many people out there that they're feeling unsatisfied and unfulfilled and, and it's like what's the vision for your life well in lee's words and says what's your life purpose and they can't answer it they don't know they've got no direction no clarity so they're waiting for you guys to show up and actually go this is my vision if it aligns let's go which yeah. is exactly what it's done yeah. right and you always need to keep evolving as, as a leader, as a, as a human, you know, that wants yeah. to be successful. You always need to be, you know, looking for what's the next step, laying the path. Where you've got people following, you need to, yeah. keep, it, you, need to keep, you know, being that good player. Yeah, and that's why I say, if you're going to grow a massive tribe, go and join other tribes. So you can see how it runs, you can see the dynamics, yeah. so you can feel out the tribes you like and don't like, so you can learn from it. Same thing, if, like we're going to talk later tonight about recurring income, membership sites and things like that. Like, if you're not in them, go and join them. Like, yeah. because it's so important. You know, if you if you want to do high end coaching, you don't have a high end coach, go and get one. Because it's like it's going to feel out of alignment otherwise. So it's the same for the tribe and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and you need to keep. Yeah, you need to like with the tribe as well. Let's be honest. When people go back to their own environment, they're lazy and they hide and they make excuses. You need to, you know. Do the right things, however the people are going to be adaptable, and you know, do the webinars and give extra stuff, and make them feel special. Like mm -hmm. they're not like when they when they're in your in your environment, they need to feel special and they need to feel wanted. Yeah. Of course, if people you know if people aren't going to do what you do, then you don't reward them. But you're yeah. always going to you need people to say that hey, this is not a job, this is not like everything else out there. You need to keep it completely different and exclusive. Mm -hmm. And when, when you start to lose that exclusiveness, that's yeah. the word, is that a word? Yeah, yeah. 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 And you need to know how to speak English too. There you go. Once you start losing that sort of power of why you started your mission, that's when you really need to grab it and say, hey, this is why we came together, this is what it's about. Because people get caught up in doing the activity without, the real, without their end goal. So you always need to have your end goal, like fly fishing, and then you need to work backwards. Because people walk around through life and they try to make that shit yeah. up. And they might get results, but they don't mm. become super successful. Yeah, and I like what you said about loving on them first and giving to them and really making it VIP, making it exclusive. Even if it's a free Facebook group that people are in, well, don't just go and post all the same stuff like on your on your free um, public profile and your free group. Like, they need a reason for being in that group. They need extra attention. They need questions answered. They need some content every now and again that isn't everywhere. Like, they, they need a reason to be in the tribe. Because if there's no reason, they'll just hang out outside the track and you won't build your track basically. Yeah, I, I always like to over deliver, but as well, if people aren't sort of showing up and they're not leading themselves, yeah. I won't, I won't, I'll, I'll say to them, okay, cool. Um, you know, everyone knows we've got a webinar or, or whatever, or do you want to give me stuff that you want to give feedback? If they don't give me feedback, I won't hold the webinar. Because there's no point giving, because you give, give the human nature, you give, people take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Once you remove it a little bit, then they're like, oh, I better lead myself and I'm able to better appreciate mm -hmm. this. Yeah, and just like we did work earlier on your identity, like who you're stepping into, it's important to create, we're going to do this down the track um, in a second, create a tribe identity as well. Like who are the people? Like who is this tribe? What is it about? Like because people will really quickly see whether they identify with that tribe or not, or even if they don't feel like they're there, whether they want to be in that tribe because it's where they're going. That's all right. So um, yeah, getting clear on... <laughs> Getting clear on the tribe identity and, and yet what actually identifies that tribe. Yes. Is it just a random group of people hanging out together because they're following you as a leader, or is it like come into this space? Like mm -hmm. you'll notice every time you're posting the success app, right? I'm like, welcome to the tribe. This is the community that is like committed to doing mindset work, that's committed to massive results, that's this, that's that. And I'll be constantly like layering in the identities of the tribe. And and it acts as a filter again. There's some people that leave the tribe and it's like they don't identify with having it all. They don't identify with like massive success and that's okay. But you're either in or you're out. Like you don't like it, get out. And it acts as a filter when you are really clear about it. And on the flip side, whilst people are filtering out, you've got the other people getting more and more and more nervous going, I love this tribe. You know, I have so many people, even in the success, I've been like, I finally feel like I can fit into something.
finally, you know, and even though it's online, it's Facebook groups and training, like, it's such a simple thing, but it makes such a massive difference because I've been clear on what they're putting into. Because if you're not clear on that, then they don't know what they're putting into. Like even with our tribe, we call it a brother group because yeah. it is a brother group. And when I mean that, some people forget it's like you've got each other's backs no matter what. You know, there's going to be hard times or whatever, but the whole purpose of us having that tribe in that environment is so people can come into a place that is protected. It's not like that bullshit you have out there and you come and you want to, it wants to be exclusive. Oh, it's going to yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Good Tommy. So, and you always want to realign, and you know, there's obviously not rules. I don't like rules. There's probably a system that you want to follow. I'm about to tell them to break the rules, so no, yeah. it's not really. <laughs> and all the stuff around the intentions is so much more important. And remember, so. always ask yourself, okay, why, why do I want this? Why do I want to try? Why do I want success? Do I, am I just, do I want to buy nice things, or do I want to empower people? Do I want to contribute? You know. Because at the end of the day, like you, it's really the six, I don't know if you know about six human needs, but it all goes down to your contribution. If your ideas or your, um, actually not ideas, they need to be obsessions. That's the, like, I'd better say that. Like your tribe needs to be an obsession, not an idea, or it's cool, or, you know, we do myself tell you, it needs to be something that, you know, that's, that's going to be your life. So, um, really realign and ask yourself, okay, why am I, why am I doing this? And because you are going to get to a point, you will get to a plateau, and you really need to reinvent yourself. You need to keep growing, and um, and, and, and the, the way things make you feel is a really good indication of um, if you need to realign and, and check things. If you're like at a job, people stay in a job that makes them feel like shit for 30 years. If that's just might as well, you know, hold your hand over a bloody um, flame. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So, and and. And look, I can't, I'm not going to say, oh, well, but it's different for you. No, it wasn't. I, I was doing a job. I was doing two jobs. And mm -hmm. it's just a choice. And then you yeah. make a choice over and over again. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'd like to know now from Jade and um, Steve, what would be quite cool is um, obviously, you can this. Um, is absolutely integral part of your growth and your excess who you allow in your environment and your tribe and I think the biggest thing for me and this is what really attracted me to Lee's tribe was I'm in alignment with his values and that's the yeah. biggest thing is you want people in your tribe or you want to be a part of a tribe where you're aligned with their core values and that's mm -hmm. um, something we hold very close to our heart here at Beast Mode is our core values we've mm -hmm. got seven main ones but there's many many more but the main ones are trust honor loyalty respect authenticity and congruency and if anybody is not aligned with them core values then they're probably not really people that you know we necessarily want in our tribe or well, they're not going to be a match for us because we, we hold that like our heart on our sleeve we're very very proud about our core values and i think that's that's super important to not only be surrounded by people who are aligned with your values but people who are where you want to be in life 
people that have the same vision as you, or at least are supportive of your vision, mm. is is huge. And that's been a, a massive thing that's attracted me to Lee. One, he's just so real and he's so raw. He's got a no nonsense approach to everything that he does, and that was what attracted to me to to what his you know the environment or the tribe that he's he's created here, and it's a, it really is a sacred environment that he's created for us to be able to come in and plant our seeds, so to speak, and for it to be flourished and nourished and give us a platform now to, you know, obviously expand on our tribe as a collective, but also build our own tribes underneath him as well, yeah. based upon, upon them core values, which we all, you know, we all hide in the, hold in the highest regard. But As I mean, even, like, to be honest as well, like, yeah. we've, um, we've got one of our, you know, one of our coaches that, you know, we just thought, and that's why we hold it so high, and we've had our tribe rocked, but it's just like, okay, how can we regroup? And I know I've been sort of walking around today really hurtful because I take it personally like it, you know, like that's how, and I'm all, yeah, okay, okay, what can we do? How can we grow from <coughs> that? But at least you, you know, this stuff's either going to make you or break you, but then you just have to, you know, you have to move on from it and just say, okay, how can we stop this from happening again? Yeah, and I mean, the amazing thing about having a tribe is you're in control of who you want in your environment and in your tribe, and ultimately you have that control. You go, hey, hang on a minute, I'm not really aligned with what you just did. I don't think you're worthy to be a part of our tribe. So... That's the beauty of it. It's like, you know, out in the outside world, there's, there's so much, excuse my language, there's so much bullshit out there and there's so many people that you really don't want in your environment, but ultimately you're out there in this, you know, mass collective environment where sometimes you're going to find yourself surrounded by people that you probably don't necessarily want in your environment. So that's the, the power of creating your own tribe or being a part of a, a, a larger tribe. It gives you that opportunity to be in that safe environment where your ideas, your vision, your your mindset, and all these other things are going to be in a safe environment, I suppose, where you know it's going to be supported, and, and that's the huge thing about it. So, yeah, but yeah, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to add. I could go on and on and on about this subject because the power of your tribe and who you let in it is, is everything. It's Can I ask you a question? Simple. So, as you know, like with it, so what what keeps you hungry? What keeps you excited? Our collective vision. I know yeah. where we're going. Mm. That's that's what keeps me hungry and excited. But also yeah. knowing that. Can you just that, say? Just can you share with me what that is? Wow. Yep. Our vision is yeah. just empowering as many men or and women or whoever gets empowered by our vision yeah. to step up and live lives of their full potential, to create a life based around what they love, to not conform, to not go to a job they hate, to just live a life of complete yeah. fulfillment and abundance based around what they were put on this planet to do. That's and I can tell you how we're going to do it. Boom! 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 I just wanted to see how it was a little bit. That's why I asked. I want to join the next one. No, no, no. Can we be clear just on, on how different the which has been passed on through right. this yeah. the collective tribe vision, which does not just stop at Jay, right? right? There's like hundreds of other guys being like, this is the vision, right? Mm. But if that was never Passes. set up, right, and if it was never led in that way, then they wouldn't be like this. It yeah. wouldn't be this community. Yeah. And Lee was, is, not was, continuously is so clear on his vision of where we're going. And that, that's the thing. Once you know where you're going, mm. your values are aligned, and you mm. believe in yourself or the collective vision, it's just you're just bridging a gap. And then when mm. you have that type of clarity and conviction that you know where you're going, mm -hmm. it's easy to get excited to bounce out of bed every day, yeah. especially when you've got a collective movement behind you pushing that vision forward. So, totally. and it's, it's always like, like I'm saying to them every day, like I'm, I've got this happening, we've got that. Always new things evolving. Yeah. Like while I was we were able to go to America, you know, Jade sort of the retreater and so did Steve and you know and Frank and that there. So if that wasn't if I if you don't have that support then you're not gonna be able to do that. So I need to keep you know you've got other people that do you know doing their jobs so then we can keep growing. So if they have, can't, you know what I mean? It can't be their success can go. I know myself and the rest of the team knows if Lee's unwell or if Steve's unwell, if I'm unwell and you know we've we've got each other's back. Yeah. yeah. That that in a nutshell is the biggest thing here is we know that if, if a brother's down, we'll pick him up. If he's yeah. doing the wrong thing, we'll take him out of it. Yeah. Or if, if you know if he's unwell and he needs a hand, we're there. We've got his back, and that, yeah. that's that's what it's all about. So and they're, they're experiencing me. Not, not that I'm being shitty today. It's just more of that. I'm so, and I do take things personally because it's family. It's not just, well, you're one of my clients, you know, and we want to make sure that everyone's functioning. If these guys aren't absolutely killing it, because my result is to get them to grow. And if I make them, if not make them, if I lead them to grow, I'm going to grow, but I don't think of it that way. I want them to have everything that they deserve. Right. And what's that? That's the tribe vision, right? Yeah. That we just went through. And I was like, you've got to get clear on your tribe vision yeah. and what that looks like. Like, that's mm -hmm. exactly what it is. So, 
Steve, what was it like for you? Like, what what were the key things when you first discovered Blade? Like, what was it for you that made you go, man, this is something I want to be a part of? Oh, wow, when I first met him, it was a good thing. <laughs> like, oh, I seen all his Facebook stuff, me and Lee, we knew all the same people growing up. And I'm like, wow, what's he doing? He's got this, he's putting all his stuff out there, he's so solid in what he wants, his vision he's got. And for me, I never had a vision of where I wanted to go and all this sort of stuff, but I knew there was something I wanted. And um, to go and meet him and then say, all right, I want something out of this, and I just kept seeing what, how he led. That was the thing, and he does. He wants to build everyone up. And even when times are challenging, like right now, we're going through some challenges, by pushing us, we know he's got our back. And that's been the case all the way along. And for me, the environments I've come from, that was never the case. So to have that, that's what I needed, to sort of fill that gap and, and to know that and then to be able to turn it into, well, he's got that vision that aligns with my vision, Jay's vision, collective, to say, all right, now I can do this, pass on mine, put my little take on what I see away from this as well, right. still knowing that he's got yeah. my back, right. Right, totally all the way. And notice how powerful that is as well, right? So let you know, Jade started in his five clients, bam, straight away, he's coaching him. Steve has started, he's, he's got two empires already. He's got 60,000 like on one video, so, I mean, or even views. So, yeah. 60,000 yeah. likes, they're busy messages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even, yeah, And um, at the end of the day, it's the result. You go one way, you're not gonna, you know, you might hit a wall. Most people sit there and, oh, I might need, I might need to see a psychologist, or I might journal, or does anyone have any depressing pills? And that's bullshit. You just keep going through and just keep pushing, you know? So, what questions do you guys have considering some of you like starting out with tribes, some of you have massive tribes, like what do you want to know from these guys and the success that they have? Now some time. So how, how long have you both obviously been a part of Team Big Planet? Um, I came through in October last year, so it's only so been... So less than a year? Yeah, it's only been uh, just over six months and I mean the power of being in this environment in that short period of time has just been phenomenal gone from like uh, Steve was saying, someone that really had no vision, really, you know, I had all the, had this burning desire inside me and I knew that I was destined to do something amazing, but I had no idea how to channel that energy and that's been the amazing thing about this environment. I've gone further in the last last six months than I ever have in my life in, in every area of my life as well with my personal growth in, in terms of mindset, business strategies, confidence, you know, just the, the identity that I've now become would have taken me probably 20 years to attain that. And that, that's just been a true blessing, having the honor of surrounding myself with these amazing people, because obviously you, you become the sum of the people you spend the most time with. So you really want to you know, be in that environment with people who are where you want to be, so. Yeah. yeah. But you've worked, you've worked yeah. hard as well. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. 100% committed and 100% coachable, and that, that's the biggest yeah. thing. And we, we preach that here at Beast Mode, because ultimately the results speak for themselves for the people that come through like Steve that are just blowing it out of the water in such a short period of time because they understand and we understand that we don't know what we don't know. And and you know, our coaches and mentors are the same many steps ahead of us and we just we honestly just truly trust in the process so yeah. much that we, we do what they tell us to do even if the time we're like, why are they asking us to do that? It makes no sense. Yeah. But then it gets you where you want to go and well, nothing to his madness <laughs> once again. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, yeah. just, just go with the flow, trust the process and understand yeah. that you don't know what you don't know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Why well, I started in October, I just in the tribe. Yep. But I went into the retreat in February, so yeah. the power environment for me is massive. The whole tribe thing, said to Jade, and like I say, just digging into everything that the tribe's about because it aligns with my vision and my values mm. and you know, my growth. So even the same every day, it's just, it, it blows my mind to come from where I was a few, like, October. When you say, you don't have to put up your hands, you're going to interrupt. You just did. Sorry. It's only because obviously I'm going to forget. But you know, you say that they align with your causes, values, and everything like that. And I'm just curious. Did you know what your four values were before? I didn't know what that was. That's what I was going to ask. 
Yeah. I didn't know what a tribe was. I didn't know what anything was. Okay, that was my, that <laughs> I was didn't. A, I thought that was important to know because, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah. It can happen really quickly. Yeah. It can be, like you say, you surround yourself with the right people, like Lynn yeah. and Lee and Jade yeah. and even the tribe itself. You feed off each other. And um, even when you, you see other people's situations where they're not going so well, you can actually learn from that too. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's the key for me. I see that and then I just look at my life like, oh, wow, well, this, 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 and this, and then it just inspires me to keep going further because that's part of the vision. That's, yeah. yeah, so. And that's the thing about values as well, like in terms of values, because before I got involved in this environment, I had no idea where I was going. I had no clarity on my vision. My values were completely different than they are now. You know, mm-hmm. So once you uh, really get clear on your vision and then start digging deep on your core values and you align all of that, mm-hmm. then it, it becomes very, very powerful. Because if you aren't clear on your vision, then you probably your values are probably all up the expletive anyway. You know, so <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I'm talking about. You're to allowed to say that. Yeah, you're not making sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 you There's the one. I've been visualising this the last three hours, mate. I'm actually really interested in the the feminine and masculine energy, like because you guys. A different level, um, but like, are they that different? Yeah. In the tribe? Like, well, I mean, you're with a team of girls, and these guys, you know, these, it's, I'm really, really interested in that masculine feminine energy because I find it in, like, in relationships, right? Like, a lot of the problems are that, um, that men are quite disempowered, yeah. and yeah. that women can be very strong personalities, and like, we turn our men into doormats, and you know, yes. I can answer yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah, what? Specifically around <coughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So obviously, we it's a, it's a pull push situation. We mm-hmm. know that you know even some men that come through, and that's why the whole company has got its success and its failings because the men that come through are in the feminine. And you know a lot mm-hmm. of the guys that came through, there was nine of them. And if you saw some of these guys, or you saw some of them, the girls were going, oh, just looking at these guys, because they, they, on the outside, they look quite masculine, but they're feminine. Mm-hmm. And they all thought they were, they all thought they were in their masculine. The guys so, that were at dinner? Yeah. Yeah. You know, some of them, like, you're looking at from the outside, they're like, oh, geez, they're, you know, pretty spunky or whatever, but it's, um, through, you, look, you, you, you know, and obviously you'll get to know, especially with us, it, you can't always be, you know, and this is something that I'm learning even today, you can't always just be full on rah and, you know, have that energy. Um, you need to, you, each person, when you become a, a leader or a coach, you need to be able to customise into that person's identity, mm-hmm. you know, um, and the, how you lead. Sometimes I just lead like to say, hey, to someone, hey, you've effed up, then what are we going to do about it? Are mm-hmm. we getting a result? No. I, you know, I always say there's no grey area. Mm-hmm. Some people can't take that. Some people like it because then they move on from it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. with that energy, if you're if you have men in your if you have men in your tribe, like obviously we don't have any females, so you know, like we have to we don't really have to uh, accommodate for that. Mm-hmm. But you know, as Regan knows, if you went if you're going to have men in your tribe, obviously for that person, if he's quite masculine, quite powerful, then if you're coming from your masculine energy, you're going to have a little bit of mm-hmm. a, you know you're going to have mm-hmm. that resistance. Mm-hmm. But if you it really depends what result you want to get with them as well. But if you want to influence them, or if you know, women have the upper hand because they, as it says, woo men, you know, woman. Mm-hmm. So you actually can, you can get a result with a man by using, you know, using that right energy to get that. Is that, is that what you were sort of asking, or? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't even like, it was kind of veering off the subject of tribes anyway. I was just really interested mm-hmm. in the dynamic because mm-hmm. I noticed, like, it's, it's a problem I've had in relationships because mm-hmm. I'm quite strong personality, and I, yep. you know, and men, especially in New Zealand, like, men um, get really, like, completely bulldozed by a yeah. woman. Yeah, yeah. And um, and I like, you know, when I was thinking about like what my vision was, um, I almost worry that my energy is too masculine because yeah. like, you know, I really like, um, I call people on their bullshit, right? Yeah. Like, and I don't, I don't want to like, um, I know that needs to come from a place of love. Yeah. Right? But um, it's like figuring out where that balance lies. Yeah, that's 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 a that's a good point. Um, you're gonna say something. That's right. Um, because I I am like that as well. I can be too truthful, and then you have to remember everyone doesn't doesn't see the world the way I do. Mm-hmm. So I'm just gonna be hey, I just want to get a result. But people do have feelings, they've got values. They see the model of the world different. But you know, I like to lead through the truth. 
but then you know especially from a, you know a woman and a man we have got roles to play we're both mm. at completely equal equal mm. statuses whatever you want to call it um but you know in a relationship you know i'm not i'm not too sure you know because you're married is yeah. that right yeah. um you know regan and i when we understand when we've understood polarity we know when you know she's in her masculine and she's been doing a webinar for 150 people and she's peaking this leadership masculine energy, mm -hmm. you know, there's not gonna, I'm gonna go, hey, we're doing this because it's gonna be like two men speaking. Mm -hmm. So there's time when I'll pull out and let her say whatever and I'll just nod my head and like, are you okay, cool, yep, I understand. And then there's times when I'll be all huff and puffy if she came in with her masculine energy, hey, we're doing this, and I'll be like, hold on a second. And, that, and that's when we do have a problem. Right. Don't speak to me like that, I'm not one, I'm not a little boy. Yeah. And then, you know, and then she'll remember, and then she'll come back and, oh, you know, be all cute, and then <laughs> I'm just putty. So it's learning, understanding what masculine yeah. and uh, feminine is, yeah. and even with men, you know, having feminine in the right places mm -hmm. and being attached to your emotions is very powerful. That's really cool that it doesn't have to be exclusively one or the other. No, I mean, I love that. Yeah. Because you move in and out, right? Yeah, yeah that's really awesome. awesome. And when it comes to tribe building, I think it's, it's about being really clear on who you want to work with. And we, mm -hmm. we're about to do this. Like, we're about to dive in, like, yeah. exactly who you tribe, who's this ideal person. And, and, like, honestly, screw niches, screw male, female, screw mm -hmm. freaking how yeah. old you are, like, all of that. Like, I don't care about it, but we're going to get to, like, the core emotional center of who these people are. Mm. And and ultimately, if you're clear on that, that's what you will attract. Right. Like, Lee's very clear that he attracts in guys who want to tap into their masculine energy, mm -hmm. that want to, like, become a better leader, like, boom, boom, boom. And so he attracts guys that, like, see that, but don't necessarily have that sorted. So they want to be in that tribe to work on that, basically. You know, I'm, I, like, I, in my tribe, like, I don't really have people that are, like, really lazy or can't be bothered, like they don't show up. Like they, they don't even, they don't get called in. Cause I'm like, I work with the 1%. I work with people that are like committed to massive success. I work with people who are willing to whatever it takes. Like I'm so clear on that, that those people show up. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's something you need to be concerned about in the tribe, as long as you're clear on who you want to work with. Cause yep, yeah, okay, cool. Maybe it's, it's like a great thing that you are maybe a little bit more masculine in the way that you can tell someone how it is and call them on their shit and, and people need that, right? <laughs> but the people that need that will be attracted to that. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you should change who you are mm -hmm. in order to yeah. like please the tribe, basically. You should be you and allow the tribe to filter themselves mm -hmm. with clarity and intention on, on who you want to work with. Make yeah. sense? Yeah. yeah. Cool, any more questions on tribes? Anything else you guys want to know? Before we go in and actually figure all this, all this yeah. stuff out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can I, can I, I'll like, have a get, you know, we obviously we want to get, everyone wants to get success and we want to get to that vision. So then if you try to do everything um, and you take too much on, it comes to a point when I, you know, I was saying to the guys, you know, I was thinking that they could read my mind. So you know they've come on board and they haven't really learned too much and they'll not learn too much, but they're fresh to it. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, why isn't this done? What do you expect? And what you need to ask is how can you lead them better to get a better result? Mm -hmm. So you always need to, okay, if we're not getting a result, what do we need to do? What systems do we need to put in place? How are we going to get there? Um, and that was something that I was just like, because okay, cool, these guys are still fresh, you know, October and, and February, and then it's like even today, I'm thinking, okay, cool, well, right, we need to go here. And if that's not there, what can we do to get it better? Do we need to write it down? Do we need to have a system? You know, do we have to get tattoos of it or whatever? You know, um, it's that's what you, you you need to be able to get them. To how to get success, you just need to keep always pushing forward, and you know you need to have like sub goals. You know, you need to have little goals that you reach every day, every every, every week, because if you if you're not getting those goals, or if you're not seeing that definite like amount of money individually, or how many people you're in a role, or how many lives you want to change, you're just making it up as you go. And you'll get some results, but they won't be great. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.